So I'll tell you what some bull crap. There's something that I noticed when I'm out driving around at my job. I just seen someone back here doing it, literally, right as I pulled out, someone was doing this. There was some lady that works at Amazon and she was running. She was running to deliver a package. She was running. Now, I don't know if she forgot to drop it off somewhere and she had to come back and she was in a rush because of that. But there is no way that these people should be... Every time I see an Amazon worker, every time I see someone driving around in an Amazon truck and they stop and they get out, they are in a complete rush. They're rushing around. They're not, you know, just going at a steady pace and doing what they need to do they're rushing around with the job and that's that is that that's that shouldn't be you shouldn't be rushing at a job all the time you know and when, this is when we're in that kind of mentality and then they make it so that everything has to be right away right away right away that is not good for the person that is doing that. That is so bad. That's so bad. And when I see that, I just go, my goodness, man, the world is such in a rush. We are so in a rush to do nothing, to go nowhere. Like, And this is why I started, I started watching more videos on monasteries and like Taoism, like going with the flow, letting things go, relaxing, because I need to relax more myself. You know, I need to take it easy more. Like, uh, not, I don't want to say not taking things seriously because I take some things seriously, but the word I'm looking for, I can't uh, find right this second, but it's kind of like, relax you know chill uh don't don't do things to kill yourself you know and if you're at a job and you're doing that eventually it's gonna drain your blood it's going to drain your energy it's going to it's just not gonna be a good thing and this job that i have it's, it's just to the point where I can handle it, but it's not something that I want to keep doing, but I can just handle it. It's like something that is that I can just keep up with. Because when I go to the job, I can, you know, I sit there and I wait for people to come and I'm not going to get into the details, but when I see these people doing this, it, just, it bothers me. It really bothers me because I'm putting myself in their shoes. And I'm telling you, every time I see an Amazon worker out here, they are always in a rush. They're always rushing around and they always look like they're, they're, they're like, like alert, like they're just on high alert. And dude, that is so bad for the human body to be like that all the time. Some people like that hustle though. They like moving and hustling like that and that's fine i don't mind moving and doing stuff but that kind of work where you're just continually in a rush or you got you have to go at some kind of speed like they they give you some kind of set speed that you got to go at that is ridiculous you know they should trust that you're going to do the job right and you know, go at a normal pace to get it done, you know, why are you going to go above and beyond to rush around like that just to get a package there 10 seconds or 20 seconds earlier, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, and this is why I've been looking into, I've been looking into like going to some kind of monastery, somewhere where hermits and creatives and people that want solitude, people that go to the place to be there to practice their art, their skill, their, their, their whatever they're doing. It's for creative people. And there is this place that I'm really interested in called Little Creek Monastery. It's called Little Creek Monastery Online. 
But I don't think that I can just go there and, you know, say, well, I'm coming there. Because if I would, I would go there right now because I'm tired of this hustle and bustle shit. I'm tired of this, just the, the, the highways, the, the rush, the, the traffic, the people all around. I just, I can't deal with it. It's not for me. It's just not for me, you know? And... There's very few people that even know about stuff like this because they don't think that there's anything else. But most monasteries, they want you to be religious. You see, this, this one is a non-religious, but they accept anybody. They accept Buddhists. They accept people that call themselves spiritual. Whatever you are, whatever it is that you're into, it doesn't matter if you're someone that doesn't believe in anything. And it's like the only thing that I can see for myself because my mind is just, this is not for me. It's just not for me. That's all there is to it. And I can't make it be for me anymore. I can't make it be for me. So I'm heading off to a spot right now. And it isn't that the job is bad. The job is not a bad job. It, like I said, it's nothing against the people, but it's just dealing with the people. It's having to conversate and wait on people. I'm just not into it. I don't mind driving the truck and loading the stuff up and going there and setting up. I don't mind doing that, but, you know, of course, you can't get rid of the product if there isn't uh, people getting the product, you know? So what do you do? <laughs> You know, but this is what I'm doing right now. But this is not, this is not what I want to be doing. This is not what I want to be doing for the next couple months. So I'm going to have to tell where I work. I, I got to make a move. I have to do something. I'm going to have to do something. There's just no other way. Well, anyway, I'm pulling up at the job here. So I got to get out and put the truck, put the stuff out. So I will let you go. Take care later on.